Welcome Aviators. This is a preview video of Helios Virtual Cockpit 1.6.601. Uh, this is a release which is very DCS heavy and the headline item is the F15E plugin to support RASBAM's Strike Eagle module. This is the first release of Helios to feature a plugin module and we'll come to that later. But for the F15E support, we've got a lot of custom controls, the UFCs for the WISO and the pilot. Um, we've got engine panel, we've got a fuel panel, we've got the viewports for the MFDs, uh, and we've got all, a full set of gauges. When you come to the asset section where you would normally go to download Helios, um, you'll see that there's an extra item in the asset section which is the F15E plugin installer. If you're interested in the F15E then you'll have to install this as well as the Helios installer. We also have the plugin in 32-bit version and that's packaged with the 32-bit version of Helios. Installing the core Helios product is exactly the same as it's always been. Double click on the MSI and if you choose to trust Helios more info and run anyway um, when Windows tries to protect you and just go through the, um, the installation dial. If you install Helios to the non-default uh, directory, please make sure that you remember where this is because you'll need it later. So once the installation of Helios is complete, you then need to open the F15E plugin zip file, which is uh, the th thing that contains the MSI file for the plugin. Same thing again um, with the plugin. Uh, double click on MSI. The important thing is you must install the plugin to exactly the same location as the main Helios product. Once you have Helios product and the Helios plugin installed, it's over to Profile Editor. Standard Profile Editor screen. If the F15E plugin has uh, gone in OK, you'll see an F15E Strike Eagle um, folder inside the toolbox. And in there are all the pre-canned uh, items that you'll be able to um, make use of in your own cockpit. The majority of the items um, are auto binding, which means that if you have um, added the F15E Strike Eagle interface, um, to your um, to your profile, then dragging these items from the um, Strike Eagle toolbox folder will allow you to uh, avoid having to manually bind. I mean, there are some items which you still need to bind, but the majority will auto bind. So um, this is showing us dragging the engine panel over onto the uh, uh, the monitor, the fuel panel, um, all of um, these are auto binding. Um, and um, what we'll do now is we'll add the UFC, which again is uh, auto binding and it relies on a brand new font which is shipped in the Helios product um, because uh, we don't use a viewport for the UFC. So once that's in, um, we're just going to show adding um, an MFD. Um, as with all controls on Helios, if you need to resize, hold that shift key down. It's much better to retain the aspect ratio of the, um, of the original uh, gauge or control rather than um, have some ad hoc um, and random um, aspect ratio, which may cause problems. Um, this MFD has a viewport um, um, as part of it, but if you don't want to use that viewport, you can simply clear out the viewport um, name on the right hand side, and that will stop using the viewport. Um, and if you don't want the, um, the glass um, in front of the MFD with um, with filthy fingerprints on it, just drop the opacity to zero and um, that uh, that glass won't be used. So we've now got a, a profile um, which we'll start up and um, 
we'll show a few of the um, uh, the auto binding items um, in conjunction with um, uh, Strike Eagle, which is currently sitting on the ground at the moment. So we're just going to press a, press a few buttons. And I should say that um, you know, no sneaky bindings were um, slipped in. This is the profile as it was saved a few seconds ago. So um, we have um, pressing some buttons on the UFC going on here. And um, as far as I can tell, the screen uh, in the UFC in Helios is representative of the one in the game, which um, actually took quite a lot of work to, to achieve. So um, what we've got is um, on the screen is the engine panel and uh, we've got the fuel panel. And as you can see, we're just changing the bingo state of the, um, the fuel panel, which will um, result in um, a low fuel warning when um, we, uh, we exceed the current internal uh, fuel needle position. So there are quite a few other things in this release of Helios. Please check out the notes. Um, if you like Helios, like what you're seeing in this release, please let me know in the comments below and happy flying.